I was watching CBC's new series on Anne of Green Gables and wondering, is that really how people spoke back then, just as they do in books? But I do hope someday I shall have a white dress with, with beautiful puff sleeves. It is my highest ideal of our sleeveless. How would we know? There are no recordings. All we have is the books. It's the same with films of Jane Austen novels. Do you deny it, Mr. Darcy? that you separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the centre of the world for caprice and my sister to its derision for disappointed hopes. English poet Edward Thomas, who died in World War I, said everyone learns to read before they start to write, so when they do start writing, they tend to make their characters talk the way people did in books they already read. No one can really be esteemed accomplished unless she has a thorough knowledge of music, singing, dancing, and the modern languages. Thomas also said it's hard enough to speak the way writers write, like those Jane Austen film actors. It's even harder to write the way people actually speak, because words on a page omit so much. Tone, gestures, glances. You can't just transcribe a conversation from real life. It looks flat on the page. Thomas was friends with American poet Robert Frost, who always tried for a spoken quality in his writing. You can almost hear the difficulty when he reads his work aloud. Something there is that doesn't love a wall. It isn't exactly speech and it isn't exactly literature. It's more like an uneasy compromise between oral and written, which is pretty much the history of human culture. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.